Hi guys, this is going to be a review on Spy, uh, starring Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, uh, Jude Law, Alice and Janey, and some other actors. I'll put them down in the description. But those are the main, the main ones in the movie. So um, I was really excited when this movie came out. I love Melissa McCarthy. I think she's hilarious. I saw Bridesmaids and I was like, who is this comedic genius? Who is this amazing person? And um, ever since then, I've pretty much seen every movie she's been in. Uh, I saw The Heat, which was hilarious with Sandra Bullock. Um, Tammy was okay. It was funny, but it wasn't, you know, as funny as Bridesmaids or The Heat. So, um, yeah, I'm just a huge fan. So I saw this yesterday. And um, I actually want to say that the trailer was... In my mind like a, a tad misleading which is good which is a good thing actually because trailers a lot of the times will give you the entire movie like is pretty much just like a summary of the movie in like two or three minutes but they'll give you like major plot points or like even the ending sometimes so with this trailer it's a little funny because what it looked like to me it looked like melissa mccarthy was just like you know maybe like a secretary or something in the CIA, didn't have any training, um, didn't know what she was doing, and was maybe was just thrust into like the field or whatever. And yeah, she succeeds, but maybe she succeeds because she got really lucky or, you know, she accidentally, you know, completed the mission or whatever. In my mind, she looked inept, inept in the trailer, but that is, nothing could be farthest from the truth because in the movie, she's a badass. Like, she knows karate. She's in great shape. She knows how to use a gun. Like, she's on point. She she knows her stuff. So, just the plot of the movie, you know, she's um, in the CIA, but she's never been in the field before. She's on the phones usually helping Jude Law's character complete his missions. So, something happens to Jude Law, and um, they have to catch this villain who's played by Rose Bryan. Rose Bryan knows the whereabouts of like a nuclear bomb and they have to get uh, the whereabouts of the nuclear bomb before it like explodes or gets the wrong hands or whatever. But Rose knows the um, faces and names of all the top CIA agents. So uh, Melissa McCartney, who's never been out in the field, has to now go and uh, catch the villain who's Rose Bryan. So she goes out, her boss is Alice and Janie in the movie, and Alice and Janie is so mean to Melissa McCartney. It's it's crazy. She is so mean to her, but she has no choice but to use her because she's the only one that um, Rose Bryan doesn't know her face. Rose Bryan also, um, <laughs> she knows Jason Statham's face. Jason Statham in this movie is hilarious. You never think that he would be like, um, good in like a comedy movie or have like a comedic timing or whatever but he is hilarious in, in this movie he's crazy he says the most off the wall things the craziest things he um he reminds me of like you ever have like a crazy uncle at Christmas or um, like a grandpa or something and they tell you like these wild and crazy stories and you're like did that really happen grandpa did that really happen you know just little stuff like um Back in my day, we had to walk 50 miles in the snow to get to school, and we had to walk 50 miles back, and really, 50 miles, you had to walk 50 miles to go to school every day. As a way of telling tall tales, um, you start to look at them a little suspect, and Jason Statham is exactly like that. He was saying these crazy spy moves that he used to do, like, he said at one point that he, his arm got ripped off, and he had to reattach it with his other arm, and that he fell out of a, a plane without a parachute and landed in the field and broke his legs but still made it out of the field and drove. Like, how did you drive when your legs were broken? Like, these crazy, crazy stories. Like, over the top, you know, trying to make himself bigger than he is. And he had the most hilarious disguises as well. You know, Jason is bald <laughs> in real life, so there are a couple of wigs he was wearing in the movie. There are a couple of questionable hats he was wearing. Um, he had a mustache at one point. 
Uh, he is a character in this movie and the dynamic between him and Melissa McCarthy is hilarious because obviously they hate each other because Jason apparently had quit in the beginning but really didn't necessarily quit because he started following Melissa to try to solve the case or whatever. And he would come in and he would kind of screw everything up. Like as soon as Melissa would get close, he would come in and like make some crazy scene or something and like ruin the moment or something, the moment that Melissa could like catch the bad guy or whatever. So their dynamic is funny. They hate each other, but he still tries. And he's also a bit of a dummy. Uh, remember when I said that in the trailer it looked like um, Melissa was like inept? It's actually Jason Statham who's inept and <laughs> really gets by by the skin of his teeth, um, doesn't die only because of luck and doesn't die only because Melissa saves his life at one point. Um, so that's basically most of the plot. I think that's it. Just to reiterate, Melissa McCarthy again funny in the movie she's badass in the movie she can <laughs> do anything any other CIA agent can do which is pretty cool it's pretty much all I can tell you without giving you spoilers if you do want to know more about the movie I can tell you at the very end of this video so uh, if you don't want to know more then I suggest you press stop stop watching this video and uh, go see the movie if you can uh, Jurassic Park is out right now as well. If you don't want to see Jurassic Park because you're not a sci-fi nerdy person like me, then go see Spy. It's hilarious. If you want to know a little bit more about Jurassic Park, or not Jurassic Park, I'm sorry, Jurassic World, uh, you can click here and that'll be a link to my review on Jurassic World. Or if you want to see another movie this weekend, Spy would be your best bet. I truly believe that. If you want to hear about more spoilers, uh, keep watching. If not, bye. Okay, so major, major plot uh, point or spoiler is that Jude Law kinda is a double agent. He pretends to um, die in the beginning, and that's the whole reason why Melissa McCarthy has to go out in the field. She pretty much has to take the place of Jude Law, uh, Jude Law's character or whatever. He, um, he's kind of like a double agent, but kind of not. He pretends to die um, to, you know, get out of the CIA to get the trust of Rose Bryan, who's kind of shagging. Um, in the movie to get closer to her so she would tell him where the bomb is. So he pretends to die in front of Melissa McCarthy. He doesn't tell Melissa McCarthy, but I think the CIA like heads know. So then at the end of the movie where he reappears again, because he does, he dies like within the first like five or ten minutes of the movie, I think. So when he reappears at the end again, Melissa's like super shocked and um is angry because she thought that she he had like betrayed her and like betrayed the cia but he then tells her like later on he tells her that no i pretended to be dead so that i can get into cahoots with rose bryant's character to get her to trust me and to tell me where the bomb is so yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty the only big plot point Except at the very, very end. <laughs> um, remember when I said Jason and Melissa like hated each other? They end up sleeping together. Yep. <laughs>